everything happened exactly the way he described it. I'd say that less than a week uh, after, uh, not even a week, I would say probably three days after making this transition, I began to see my numbers begin to come down. Okay, so I just have a few questions. You went through the 12 day program recently, just a few months ago, yes? Yes. So I would love to hear how your life has changed. Well, the biggest change is, of course, my health and how I feel. Actually, you know, I, I'm coming to grips that things don't change um, extremely quickly. Uh, they have improved. But more than anything else, I feel a lot better. Um, I, I, I have more energy than I had. I don't, you know, I used to basically get home from work and get a little bite to eat and fall asleep. And then I'd wake up at around 10 or 10 o'clock, 1030 in the evening, and then I go to bed and I don't fall asleep in the middle of the day anymore. I thought that, um, you know, taking a nap was normal. And now I realize taking a nap is not normal. And so um, the energy that I have and being able to go out and, and do, uh, walk a lot more and um, uh, yeah, yeah, in general, feeling better. And then the other thing is how surprised I am at how much I really like to eat what I eat. I, I get up in the mornings and I look forward to having my oatmeal with my berries in the morning. I just, uh, I can't think of a way to, to do it otherwise. I went on a, I just came back from uh, Greensboro, North Carolina on a, about a four or five day trip to, to see some family out there. And um, I, I thought, you know, nobody eats oatmeal. <laughs> so they have grits though, and they have other things, but the oatmeal was um, hard to find. So I went to the store right away and bought some some oatmeal and made it and i tell you i really look forward to to having that every day and um they did there were two of us that uh, there was it was a little family gathering there were two of us that were eating whole food uh, plant-based diets and so we had a little um well we had some food that was prepared for us but i went to the market and i bought some ingredients so that i could make myself if i needed to put them in the freezer and as it turned out we didn't need to do that because they they were kind enough to uh to make the food and i was surprised to see my uh, two brothers that haven't really uh uh they're, they're facing their health issues but i you know i'll, I'll tell you i everybody was saying, you know, how uh, it must take a lot of willpower and all that sort of stuff to make this change because they just saw it as an impossibility. And the only thing I could tell them is that it is really not difficult at all. It is extremely easy, but you need to get leverage. Leverage allows you to move heavy objects with a very small amount of force. And you need to get leverage on yourself. And I came to a realization that my health was not in good shape. And I was more concerned about the quality of life in my remaining years than I was about living longer. And I realized that I was looking at my brothers and their issues. I began to see that's my future if I don't do something now. And that leverage made it extremely easy to convert over. Once I realized that where I was headed and understood that that was going to happen, it was not a, a little dream, daydream, it was reality. And, and I can see that reality from hearing the doctors and what they had to tell me and looking at the test results. Once I realized that was the truth, then it was extremely easy to convert over because uh, the choice was very clear. And I, even though I may not um, completely overcome all of the issues that I have, because they have been a long time in the making and may have had some permanent damage and caused permanent damage to my health, I realized that the quality of my life will be better from what it would have been if I did not make the change. 
But um, those are the areas where I've seen the biggest change. I, I do enjoy eating the food. I am, I'm getting now into uh, experimentation phase of doing different recipes. And I signed up uh, the Forks Over Knives folks have a cooking course. And I signed up for that. And I'm beginning to work through and, and come up with some of my own ideas. So I, I feel good. I feel good. That's great, Jose. It sounds like you're doing so well. And I just love the way you put that, the, the leverage, you know, just having a reason so big to, to make this change and you found it. And that's so great. I'm really happy to hear that. I was really surprised. The other thing that I was very surprised is that, you know, kind of early on in my journey, I, I would say probably at least a couple of years ago, I began looking into this. And of course, I had heard of Dr. McDougall and had read some of the things that he had written. And, and there were others that were talking about the same thing to eat, you know, more carbohydrates and, and um, lower protein. And of course, uh, you know, I have a continuous glucose uh, monitor or meter thing that I attached here and I take my readings and um, they gave it to me when they put me on insulin and, and I don't I'm not you know I'm off completely been off the insulin now for three months but I still put it on just to, to see what's going on and um, anyway um, when I started experimenting by changing over well first of all my discovery was that if I ate lots of protein very little starch my blood sugar readings were, you know, I can keep them in check, no problem. I never had high readings, you know, and, and I thought, wow, this is the way to go. And, and then, of course, I read all the other contrary literature and said, no, you got to get stop that stuff and get into the, the starches. And so when I did that, I realized my sugar was spiking. And of course, right away, I would become scared and, and drop off and not try it. And I remember the first words that Dr. Lim told me, and he said, uh, you're going to see some spikes, but you'll see those spikes getting smaller and smaller with time, and then everything will fall into shape. And I tell you, those were reassuring words, because when I heard them, I realized that he had experience in this, and he had seen this happen before. And that it will likely happen to me too. And it, it, everything happened exactly the way he described it. I'd say that less than a week uh, after, uh, not even a week, I would say probably three days after making this transition, I began to see my numbers begin to come down. And I just had a uh, hemoglobin A1C done, I would say, um, a little over a week ago, week and a half ago, and it was 5.2. And I had had one done uh, just when I began the program, and it was 5.1. So three months, no insulin, and I have a 5.2. I see my um, primary care physician next week on the 16th, and he's the one that had been treating me for my diabetes and put me on insulin. And of course, he doesn't know anything that's been going on. So I'm going to see him um, in, a, in a week. And when I do, um, you know, I know it's going to happen. I know the routine. I'm going to go in. They're going to weigh me and they're going to tell me, oh, you weigh 165 pounds. You lost 20 pounds. And I, yeah, actually, it's more than that. And, and I'm going to tell them there's something wrong with that scale because I can't have lost that much weight. And then they're going to say, why do you say that? And I'm going to say, because I've been eating some big meals and I've been feeling pretty good. And, and I can't imagine having lost that much weight. <laughs>